Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be giving you all a summary of Three Body Season 1, Episode 16. It's a thrilling episode that covers the dynamics between characters, awkward moments with Shi Chang and Xu Bingbing, interesting concepts about the three body problem, and intense relationships between enemies. So hang on to your hats, because there's a lot to unpack in this episode. Throughout the episode, you'll learn about characters and the complexities in the relationships between Shi Chiang, Xu Bingbing, Wang Chang, Shen Yufei, Pan Han, and Mu Xing. We get great insight into their lives, thanks to series writer Tian Liang Liang and the great job he has done in adding emotion to the story which was lacking in Liu Cixin's dryness. In this episode, we gain a better understanding of the complex relationships between Shi Chiang and Xu Bingbing, Wang Chang, and Shen Yufei, Pan Han, and Mu Xing. Shi Chiang and Xu Bingbing investigate Shen Yufei at the Frontiers of Science headquarters. To their surprise, they meet Wang Chang, who has been lurking in the background all season. Played by Zhao Zhan, Wang Chang is portrayed as a hilarious yet tragic character. His house pet-like existence unveils his fragile yet skillful psychology, failing to comprehend social cues but proficient in math equations. Shen Yufei, Wang Chang's wife, is in stark contrast to her husband. She is the leader of the Redemptionists, believing in a utopia and an authoritative lord to turn the tide of humanity. Her differing beliefs to Pan Han, forming the Adventists, collide in an intense ideological split. Opposing her, Pan Han is the leader of the faction wishing to wipe humanity off the planet, furthered by Mu Xing as his useful idiot. Each scene with Mu Xing provides additional insight into the fictional world, extending Liu Cixin's book as she is barely mentioned in the original source. Shi Chiang discovering Wang Chang in the background of the scene changes the focus of the episode. Instead of searching for the suspect who called the bomb threat, he is more interested in recovering the classified files of science grandma who had given him the box of red ginseng. Through Shi Chiang's interactions, Shen Yufei's crisis of faith, and Pan Han's intense beliefs, we witness the web of relationships between the characters ultimately leading Shui Bingbing and Shi Chiang to pursue both Science Grandma and Shen Yufei. The series writer Tian Liang Liang works overtime to provide an emotional injection into the story over author Liu Qingxin's dryness. Throughout the episodes, Tian Liang Liang has incorporated odd and quirky character moments to humanize characters, adding an unseen layer of humanity to Liu Qingxin's narrative. This includes the laughable interaction between Shi Chiang and Wang Chang, who, with his revolutionary success, celebrates with a sip of smuggled alcohol. Tian Liang Liang's additional character passages have been included to galvanize our emotional response to the series and to elaborate on the story that Liu Qingxin has laid out. Mu Xing, in particular, is a character solely created by Tian Liang Liang as a tool to explore Pan Han's destruction agenda in more detail. This expands the show further than the book, being an independent observer who records their conversations. The unorthodox writing style of Tian Liang Liang has paid off, touching the audience's hearts with the characters who were once solely robots of Liu Qinxin's universe. By introducing additional characters and situations, the audience can empathize with the characters, understanding the hysteria emanating from Shen Yufei's unforeseen ideological conflict with Pan Han. This is all made achievable due to the handiwork of Tian Liang Liang. The episode also adds humor through Wang Miao's humorous failure to advance in the three-body problem game. Struggling to align all three suns, the episode blankets us with comedic relief as the game comes to an end with 30 million soldiers being part of a giant calculator, the Qin Emperor, desperate to finish calculations to ensure their victory. However, the unexpected alignment of the three suns leads to disaster for the characters with one final gag of Wang Miao being contacted to confirm his identity before returning to the game. Through Tian Liang Liang's extension of the story, Three Body Season 1 Episode 16 is not only a fascinating insight into cosmic warfare, but also a heartwarming comedy. The inclusion of characters and moments that were not present in the book such as Mu Xing has greatly benefited the series, allowing us to become emotionally attached to the characters in the series. In Wang Miao's latest session in the Three Body Problem game, he attempts to achieve the goal with 30 million soldiers used as a giant computer to calculate the next sunrise for a stable era. The players, representing Isaac Newton and John von Neumann, are confident that their calculations will be successful. In a bid to restore the civilians vanquishing the chaos, Newton tells the Qin Emperor that it is safe for them to rehydrate and get on with their lives. Suddenly, 
The royal astronomers run in, panicking as they report that a catastrophic event is about to happen. All three suns are about to rise in a straight line, with the world at the end of it, resulting in the world caught in the combined gravitational pull of these three suns. This would mean that everyone would be pulled up into the air towards the suns. Rather than achieving the goal of stability, this world was about to be swallowed up by the chaotic force again. To make matters worse, the world would be swiftly destroyed as the amount of energy released from the three suns being so closely aligned would be terrifyingly high. People, animals and plants would be quickly lifted up into the sky, vanishing in seconds. The game quickly comes to a close, disheartening the players. As the world ends, players are invited to log in again for the next civilization. This time, Wang Miao gets a phone call from one of the game's sysadmin asking to verify his identity before he could continue with the game. He has reached the elite tier of players that have progressed this far and are invited to join a meat space gathering of players in a few days. While Wang Miao had achieved the milestone in the game, the events that unfolded did not have the intended outcome, showing that there is much more to the three-body problem game than they expected. With the world coming to its end, Pan Han shows up at the frontiers of science with a gun to force Wang Chung to stop his work on solving the three-body problem. While ready to shoot Wang Chung, Pan Han is interrupted by Shen Yu Fei as she confronts him, finally hearing why they're on different factions. Pan Han reveals that he is not a member of the frontiers of science, but leads a different faction from the larger organization they're a part of. Shen leads the redemptionist faction that wants their lord to save humanity and establish a utopia, while Pan Han leads the Adventist faction that wants humanity to be wiped out for despoiling the planet. Pan Han takes a step further as he claims to be the only one who can hear the Lord's messages now. For the first time, Shen Yufei has her first crisis of faith. Instead of arguing with Pan Han, Shen contacts their commander to ask which side they're on, where their loyalties should lie. Mu Xing continues to be a part of Pan Han's faction, his useful idiot, as Pan Han continues to use her to push his anti-science and anti-technology message to people. Although Mu Xing is part of his cause, she hasn't quite bought into Pan Han's ideology as she continues to watch him like a hawk and secretly document all the conversations had between them. Meanwhile, Shi Chiang does not give up pressing General Chang to provide the classified files on science grandma Ye Wen Jie. Wang Miao gets even more agitated as Shi's main suspect suddenly becomes the person whom helped him in the game. Xu Bing Bing then mentions that Shen Yu Fei had gone to a train to High City to head towards the rural town where she owns a red ginseng factory. This strikes a chord for Wang Miao, as science grandma Ye Wen Jie had sent him a box of red ginseng given to her by a friend. Wang finally realizes that this friend is actually Shen Yu Fei, and both he and Shi Chang press forward with the notion that they must chase both Shen Yu Fei and science grandma. The fateful realization that they might be after the same person opens the door to even more drama and tension. With the pieces all coming together, Pan Han and Shen Yu Fei's argument reaches its climax. Shen Yu Fei sees Pan Han as he takes a step forward and grabs her wrist. Holding on to her, he begins to justify his views on the planet's cleansing, claiming it was her lord's orders and that he was the one who could hear those orders now. Pan Han is trying to make Shen Yu Fei choose his faction and side with him in his pursuit of wiping out humanity. Meanwhile, Shi Chiang and Xu Bing Bing are still silently watching the argument and are delayed in their potential intervene as this standoff lasts too long. Shen Yu Fei finally breaks the standoff as she attempts to pry herself out of Pan Han's grip, pleading a different idea to him. That love is the answer, not death. Pan Han's eyes narrow as he begins to call Shen Yu Fei out for her earlier epiphany, claiming that it was only a momentary conviction that changed nothing. She calls him out for not understanding her understanding of faith, and seems to accept that the only thing that matters is the loyalty to the missions she accepted. At this point, Shi Chiang steps forward and breaks up their fight, as he and Pan Han share a few tense glances, before the latter takes his leave, leaving the three respondents to reconsider their position on the whole thing. As Pan Han moves away, Shen Yu Fei becomes more clear on her new mission she must fulfill, to contact their commander and ask which side are they on, which faction do they stand with, and what is their loyalties. She takes her leave, leaving Shi Chiang and Xu Bing Bing to their thoughts and the realization that they have much more to uncover. Meanwhile, Mu Xing continues to be a pawn of Pan Han's agenda, a people through which he pushes his objectives. Though she still hasn't been won over by his arguments just yet, she continues to follow him, 
still secretly recording their conversations in case she needs leverage for later. She is a wild card that keeps the ongoing fight between the two factions going and the adrenaline pumping in the show's fans. From here on, Pan Han and Shen Yu Fei's story continues to unfold, leaving us to ponder which faction will take home the victory in the end and what will happen to the duo's fates. As Pan Han and Shen Yu Fei part ways, Shi Chiang and Xu Bing Bing rush back to their own mission, gathering clues to help find science grandma Ye Wen Jie, which might eventually lead them to Pan Han as well. Wang Miao remembers that Science Grandma had given him a red ginseng box before he learned the three-body problem. Searching deeper, they find out that the same person who gave Wang that box has booked a ticket on the same train that Shen Yu Fei has taken. Immediately putting two and two together, they set off to find both Shen Yu Fei and Science Grandma in High City. Little by little, Wang Miao and Shi Chang start to understand the importance of Science Grandma, not only in the three-body game, but also in the puzzle they are trying to solve. Wang Miao looks back at her contributions with more admiration, as he remembers that Science Grandma is the one who helped him understand the flickering of the universe and shift the game to a whole new level. Shi Chiang is understanding his complexities and suspicions, as he realizes that Science Grandma is the key in connecting all the dots. However, they still have to confirm their assumptions, starting with getting to the classified files on Science Grandma's past. General Chang, who opposes the investigation of Science Grandma, is seemingly the only obstacle in their way. They plead him to get to the bottom of the case, for this mystery to be solved and justice to be found. Unbeknownst to General Chang or Wang Miao or even Shi Chang, the two characters are on the verge of yet another mind-blowing experience. After the previous fiasco with Newton, John von Neumann and the other players, Wang Miao is about to be invited to an elite meat space gathering and will be asked to verify his identity. While getting to High City to find the two characters, Wang and Shi Chiang are also preparing for their investigation on Science Grandma. Everything is leading to a bigger puzzle of truth and justice, and now, they have to be prepared to solve it. Shi Chiang's detective senses are tingling as he investigates Science Grandma and Shen Yu Fei's strange connection. He is determined to piece together the puzzle and uncover the truth, convinced that Hao Yi's assassination and the Frontiers of Science headquarters shooting are interconnected. But before he can take the investigation any further, he needs General Chang's help. Shi Chang is initially rebuffed by General Chang and his uncooperative attitude. But with a bit of convincing, Shi Chang is eventually able to persuade General Chang to help. Together, they get access to the classified files on Science Grandma Ye Wenjie. As they start to delve deeper into the files, they are shocked as they start to uncover more information about her life. The most unexpected of which is General Chang's relationship with Science Grandma. Once they've uncovered enough information to come up with a theory, the men set off to High City. With Shi Chiang at the helm, they navigate their way through the city and finally reach the Red Jinseng Factory. But there's no time to bask in the moment, as Shi Chiang and General Chang realize that Science Grandma, Shen Yu Fei, and even Pan Han could be lurking in the shadows. There's no telling what will happen next. So it's time for our detective and his new sidekick to step into the unknown and look for clues that could potentially solve the case and restore order. It's been an exciting journey, and if you kept up, you know there's more to come. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to be a part of the investigation and support the adventure.